Yeah, we can just have a safety car finish now, right? Seeing any technical issues coming off the practice start? Watch the RPM on the full start. We don't want to bog down. No threat of rain for the time being, conditions looking good. Yeah, I have 15. All right, guys, careful into turn one, long race. Be careful, good luck. Look. Good luck. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. Nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. All right, and uh, with that, I find myself as the commentary team. So, after that unfortunate start, Chaos is out of the race. That's me. Years of academy training wasted. Hey, Camborn, was it you that hit me? Okay, guys, we, we, we can square this away later. All right. So under the VSC, we have Sukuri, who's up four positions into the lead, followed by Mega Man, Rafa. We've got Diego, Narket, Nick the Quick, PLL, Prick, Gab Plague, Cuthbert, Tron, Kenny LaFlair, Lucky Moose, who's down several positions, Bobino, and Camborn. Let's see if anyone's going to be coming in for an early piss up. And we go green.
And it's Cam coming in for a first lap pit stop, and just ahead of him is a Lucky Moose. Into the lead, we've got Sukuri, who's put on a bit of a gap here, and a bit of a fight going on for second place as Rafa and Mega Man are dueling it out here. And immediately behind them is Diego, looking to make a little bit of a move in here and see what he can do. So as this is happening, Sakura is just building up a gap to the front. Meanwhile, Lucky and Camborn are both coming out. Let's see what they're on. Camborn on the mediums, and Lucky also on the medium. So there's a tight group here, just following these leaders. We've got Narka Bright, followed by Nick the Quick and PLL. And then a small gap forming to, uh, to Brick and the Pursuers. Nick looking like he might have a little bit of a move here on Narket, but no, there's not going to be any dives early on in this race. Ooh, that's a bit of a moment for Nick. Is PLL going to be able to capitalize on it? And that's the fastest lap for Sakuri, who's starting to pull away in the lead here. All right, and we go through this tight little corkscrew at the start of Shanghai. As this group continues to fight, Tron, meanwhile, pulling into the pits. We're going to see where he comes up relative to Cam and Lucky Moose. But we're pursuing the end of this group. It looks like Sakuri's lead is beginning to fall a little bit as Rafa is beginning to charge up behind him. Riding on board with Nick the Quick, who is right on Narkip's tail. Bass and Martin chasing down Narkip's Haas, taking some tight lines through Sector 2 as they come up towards Sector 3. He's closing, he's closing, and Gaflike might have a little bit of a move on Cuthbert coming up in a moment. It's a close pursuit, but I don't think he's quite going to be close enough. Back to Nick as he makes his way winding out of this big long loaded corner and he comes off onto the side, making his way side by side alongside his rival Narkit. We're getting maximum energy deployment here. And we come in on board, look over to the side, Narkit breaks a little bit later. Is Nick going to be able to take the position? He takes the real tight line and taking a look back he has secured the position from Narkit, knocking him down to 6th place. PLL now in pursuit of Narket. As the pursuit group begins to spread out a little bit, Rafa slowly hauling Sukuri back in after Sukuri was able to put up a big gap right at the start of the race. PLL taking a tight line here. There's not going to be much opportunity for a pass just now. Cuthbert, meanwhile, has Gadfly, Kenny, and Rubino right on his tail as the chasing pack is separating into two groups. PLL looking like he might have a little bit of a move to the outside, but Narkip's not going to give him a lot of space. And PLL backs up, continues the pursuit, taking a wide, aggressive line through this curving Sector 2. A little bit of a traction moment there for both of them. PLL might have a run here. He's going to follow him through into the tight corner now. And here we go for the big wind-up as all these drivers are trying to get the power on as fast as possible. Keep in mind, they're going to be a little bit aerodynamically disrupted as this happens. PLL right in. Narket has spent a lot more of his power. So PLL is probably going to have this as he goes in, takes the line around, and he demotes Narket down to 7th position as PLL now follows Nick the Quick up into the upper echelons of this race. Meanwhile, Mega Man has gotten right behind RFX Rafa. Let's go to him in third place. Oh no! Rafa, just as I say this, spins out, loses several positions here, and he's going to come up. Where is this? While well, he's falling into the gap just ahead of Cuthbert. And that's going to be a little bit of a disruption for the fight there. 
Cuthbert coming up. He seems to be dropping gap flagging Kenny just a little bit. Let's have a look. Kenny is racing on hards. He likes these odd strategies. Really long running, few pit stops. He's got an ability to do that. Meanwhile, gap flag also running on the hards. And it looks like Kenny's got the uh, got the best of them in this moment. Babino, however, right behind him. Gonna see if any of these guys can do something. Babino, of course, with the tire advantage, is gonna want to get past these two. Uh, since he really can't afford to be stuck behind them when he has this tire advantage as he does right now. We're gonna go back to Brick in 7th place. Brick is in pursuit of Narket, who's been getting jostled around a little bit by the other drivers today. And onto the back straight. Looks like everything's spreading out a little bit. Doesn't look like there's going to be a move here, so let's take a look a little bit further back. Gab flag leading Kenny. Kenny leading Cuff. Oh, sorry, I had that backwards. Cuthbert leading Kenny, leading Gab flag. Oh dear, and that's an off for Lucky Moose. And that's going to allow Tron back in. Lucky recovers the track. Let's see if his car is intact as he makes his way out onto the straight here. Looks like both of his end plates are looking a-okay. Meanwhile, Narket is making what I suspect is the first planned pit stop of the day. Incidentally, it looks like he might be running the exact same strategy that I was plotting on. Okay, no, never mind, he isn't. That's hards to hards, so there's going to be one more pit stop later on in this race. Sukuri leading by 1.7 seconds over Mega Man, who was pushed by Diego in P3, and Nick the Quick following close behind Diego. Uh, PLL falling a little gap behind, and then things are beginning to string out as this starts to become a fight among the top four. Nick the Quick, by the way, tons of available uh, energy for deployment, whereas Diego has spent a little bit. Mega Man lower still, and Sukuri sitting pretty with almost 90% uh, of his power. Nick is going for some power delivery here. Diego will have the ability to fight back on that a little bit, but he doesn't have the DRS, and that's critical. That allows Nick to make his way up into third place. The Aston Martins are now second and third behind Sakuri in his Ferrari. Diego dropping off the back of Nick a little bit here. Oh, and he's coming into the pits. That would explain the odd line there, yes, and Diego is the first of the front runners to drop into the pit lane. Let's see what sort of strategy he's going to go for. He could well be going for a uh, for a one stop onto hards, uh, or even a very daring stop onto mediums, or he could be going for the two stop soft, medium soft. Rafa also into the pits. And Diego is going to come up uh, just behind Gab Flag, who is on these hards. So I imagine that Diego is going to have some ability to just charge through here. Oh, that's a moment for Narket. A spin out just on the final corner. And that's going to cost him probably 10 seconds. A little bit of a moment for Bobino here. Let's see what's happening. Kenny and uh, Bobino and uh, uh, Gab Flag all having a little bit of a moment at the start of Sector 2. And now we're through this very, very downforce-dependent, high-speed, high-load corners. Kenny's got the advantage for the moment, and after the first seven laps of the race, it's Kenny who's been one of the big winners. Sukuri as well, up a lot. PLL making his way up many positions. While uh, Tron and Lucky, both of whom had early uh, race incidents, are working a recovery path right now. But you know, pretty low on deployment, so he'll be happy to just follow within DRS range and recharge. He takes just the tiniest look to the inside, but doesn't compromise his line very much at all. Meanwhile, up in the leading positions, we have Nick the Quick pursuing Mega Man, who is still maintaining a 1.7 second gap to Sakuri in the lead. We've got a pit stop for Brick as the first McLaren pops into the pit lane. 
and Babino is continuing to chase down Cuthbert and Kenny LaFleur. He's got the tire advantage for the moment, but he hasn't been able to translate that into track position. He's got a close pursuit of Cuthbert, though. Let's see if Bobino can make something of it. We're coming into Sector 2. This is an area that's not very friendly for overtaking, but it's a real challenge for these drivers to fight through. Meanwhile, gap flag on these hearts is rapidly being caught by Diego on fresh mediums. And I could imagine, even though I said this is a bad section for overtakes, I could imagine Diego making a move on Gab through this section. Pursuing, pursuing from the apex. Doesn't go too wide and taps the apex again. And Diego's right on the back of Gab's leg. He's saving up his overtake. He's just going to take him this straight. There's no real sense in getting an extra few tenths by running a risky pass that could just end your race. He takes a very tight line, and you know what? It looks like Gab's just letting him through here, recognizing that there's not really an opportunity to fight here. Diego opens up his DRS, and that's going to do it as he powers down along this straight. Gab tries to fight it around the outside, but it's not to be. And that's position gain for Diego who now begins his charge up onto the uh, remaining charge towards the front. Meanwhile, Nick the Quick has taken the first pit stop for the Aston Martins. And he's come up right into a little bit of a... Uh, wait, no, he's a little bit behind this scuffle, of course, with uh, Kenny, Bobino, and Cuthbert. Bobino has been able to cut his way through Cuthbert, and that's going to promote him up to fifth position. And that's an unfortunate moment. Lucky retiring from the session, being the second driver to drop from this race. There's a yellow in Sector 3, but I imagine Lucky's car will be disappearing momentarily. The drivers have stabilized quite a bit here, so let's take a moment to have a look at some of these car strategies we're seeing. Mega Man into the pits. Let's see where he comes up relative to his rivals. We've got Kenny LaFleur, who's coming through with Cuthbert and Nick the Quick in tow. Nick, of course, is the uh, is the big point of focus, and he's certainly going to uh, be coming out ahead of Mega Man here. Mega Man's got his tires, but that's all he's going to have. Fastest sector for Nick the Quick. And he powers his way through, Babino is also through, and behind him, Mega Man, who is now going to be using these fresh mediums, going to take him through the middle third of this race. So the drivers really are starting to uh, spread out as the strategies are now really beginning to play out. Bobino has a bit of a wide line there, and that's allowing Mega Man to haul him in. Mega's got these fresh tires that are just coming up to temperature. If he can get himself just a little bit closer onto the back of Bobino, he's going to have him in this coming straight. Mega Man in pursuit of Bobino. That's Diego just behind him. Diego definitely wanting to, to put the challenge to him, so that will be an interesting fight to put the eye on. Oh, a little bit of defensive weeding here for uh, Bobino, but Mega Man's going to go up the inside. Breaks, and that, keeping an eye out, he's going to take the position. And now Diego's going to hope to do the same. Of course, he's on slightly older tires. Meanwhile, we've got a bit of a battle between Rafa and Brick at the bottom end of the points here. Both of these guys on fresh hard tires that I think they're going to be able to take right to the end of this race. And Camborn here, right behind them, Cam looking very, very strong in qualifying. 
um, but finds himself farther down the order than he would certainly like to like to be at this point in the race, but he'll be fighting. He's on these mediums. He can, uh, well, we'll see what he can do with it. Meanwhile, Sakuri way out in the lead, uh, as Sakuri, PLL, and Kenny LaFlair are the three leaders who have yet to pit, and Kenny, of course, is just a little bit ahead of the Nick the Quick on his fresh, hard tires. Ooh, a little over-rotation for Cambo in there. I imagine he'll just want to save for the moment. Uh, overtaking Brick is a definite, uh, definite possibility with uh, with Camborn's skill and with his medium tires, even though those mediums are starting to get up there a little bit. Brick's tires are fresh, but they are hard. Oh, that's an off for Narkit. Tron comes up to find him recovering. And uh, we might have a little bit of a battle for 13th here as Narkit is just trying to get back up to pace here. Good opportunity for Tron, and he is through. Narkip does not want to fight on tires that he's just probably really torn up with the slide. Meanwhile, a little bit of excitement here. We've got Nick the Quick right behind Kenny LaFleur now, having said another fastest lap. Purple's through. And Nick's going to want to dispatch of Kenny. There's yellow in Sector 3, and that's Tron. Oh no, just gets his position through on uh, on Narkip, and then he loses it. Just coming onto the, uh, onto the main straight. It's been a spinny day. Here's Brick, meanwhile, uh, right behind Camborn, RFX Rafa, and Gabflag. All in this battle, a uh, fairly intriguing one for the lower ends of the points. Further ahead, we've got uh, Diego, who's catching up on Bobino here. Diego will have the tire advantage, and has been generally showing a, you know, top five pace throughout this race. And he was, of course, uh, one of the earliest of the front runners to pit, and he's got a bit of a train in front of him. He'll be happy to be keeping Mega Man in his sights, and it'll be interesting. He'll want to have uh, Cuthbert, well, you know, uh, give him a little bit of DRS on the way too, because Mega Man's going to be able to pull away on him a little bit here. The cars power down this very, very long straight. Mega Man is through on Cuthbert, but Bino right behind. He's a little bit deep, and ooh, that's a bit of contact between Cuthbert and Bobino. Cuthbert holds onto the position. Is Bobino damaged at all? I think all should be well, and this is going to be an opportunity for Diego, who's now going to be saying, okay, I can't let Mega Man pull ahead of me. Meanwhile, Kenny LaFlair and Nick the Quick having a little bit of a side-by-side -side battle through here. Ooh, that's some good racing here as they take the back-and-forth lines. Goodness, that's a terrible camera angle. They're side-by-side. -side. Once again, Kenny's got the outside line here. As they make their way, and Kenny continuing to ride around that side, but at last, that's all he can do. And Nick is taking the position. Kenny, though, might be trying to get a little bit of a cut in here. No, that's not going to be happening. Not against Nick the Quick. And Nick is able to secure third position. He's now the leader um, of the uh, group who has already been. He was earlier, but now he's up into the top three. Mega Man is pursuing. Oh, a little bit of a weave there from Kenny LaFleur. Maybe just a peek to see if he could get the position back. It's a purple sector. And we were getting this, uh, this battle here. Diego getting uh, getting caught up on Bobino and Cuthbert as uh, some other drivers have before. There's going to be a bit of a DRS train that's going to make it harder for him to get through on Bobino. But let's see what comes. Up the inside. And they're both through. Cuthbert loses two positions. Or does he? Diego's being considerate, leaving him the space, and Cuthbert might have a little bit better launch here. Diego around the outside. Eventually, he backs out. Discretion can be the better part of Valor, but this time, Cuthbert has DRS and ERS. Sakuri comes out, and oh, that's critical. So Sakuri comes up just behind this battle, and that's going to be very bad for him. Also, we've got a moment for Gadflag. He finds himself in the wall with his, oh no, right 
at the pit exit. He's going to have to do an entire lap. That is that is unfortunate. I feel for Gaflag right there. Meanwhile, Sakuri, in pursuit of Diego and Cuthbert. Diego is thrown Cuthbert. Now he's going to be focusing on getting thrown Bobino, but he's really losing a lot of the tire advantage that he may have had earlier on. And that's just allowing Megman to start putting a time gap between him and one of his big rivals for the podium. Meanwhile, Sakuri's pissed off has put Nick the Quick back into the lead of the race. Sakuri is running on hard, so keep in mind. So this is going to be a one-stop strategy that he's going to be able to take all the way to the end. And he's being pursued by PLL, who is uh, in the exact same circumstance. Remember, what got you to this point doesn't matter. What matters now is what you have between you and the end. And some of these guys have at least one pit stop left to go. Sakuri makes swift work of, uh, of Cuthbert. There's not going to be a lot of defense there. Cuthbert takes a bit of a wide line. But yeah, there's not going to be a chance to take it back here. And Cuthbert is into the pits. PLL moves up to P7. And Bobino also in the pit lane. So that's critical, uh, opening up some space. Notice, though, that Diego is now almost five seconds back on Mega Man because Mega Man was able to get through there and start charging ahead. And now Diego is going to have to worry about security behind him. He's going to have some pace, but Diego is going to have to build up a full uh, pit stops gap here if he wants to stay ahead of Sakuri. And Sakuri has been very, very pacey. He um, is definitely a, a threat for the win here, and has been leading for a great chunk of this race until he got out of the way and Big the Quick, who did it earlier, was able to take the position. However, if this is a one-stop from Nick the Quick, then Nick is going to have much older tires towards the very end of the race. Kenny Leclerc taking a real long journey on these hard tires. Mega Man's just behind him by 7 tenths. And he's working to keep that draft. Just keep following in the slipstream, pull himself onto the back of Kenny, use that DRS. and ultimately make his way up into second position behind his teammate, Big Quick, who now leads the race. It'll be interesting to see where things shake up for Kenny Flyer. It looks like a pit stop now will drop it into a nice big gap. As we can see, a, a large space forming between Camborn and Bobino. Mega taking a tighter line behind Kenny Flyer. Ooh, a little bit of over-rotation there. But he holds it. A little bit of a battle now between Rafa and Cam. Cam wants this position. I suppose it should go without saying everyone wants the position of the person in front of them. Meanwhile, Mega Man continuing to chase down Kenny Leclerc. Let's see how he is on the power deployment here. It's clean. And now, Kenny, with a little cheek to the right. Mega Man immediately pursues. Coming in close now, they can move up the inside. Is Kenny Leclerc going to fight it around the outside? He's going to take this line. Mega Man, consummate gentleman as he is, leaves some space. Yellow flag comes up. Is that Sakuri? No, that's not Sakuri, that's Tron. And Tron is uh, retiring from the race, leaving 13 drivers left, uh, competing for 10 positions that score points. Mega Man continuing to battle, but Kenny LaFlair is a powerful defensive driver. Fortunately, they've both kept it clean thus far. Kenny a little bit deep, but it's so difficult to, uh, to make the overtakes uh, happen and to even make them stick in this section. It's enough just to follow close. 
as this uh, second sector has a way of uh, pulling drivers apart from each other, it's so difficult to follow. But you can see Mega Man able to take these tighter, more aggressive lines. He's right behind Kenny. Kenny goes for a little defensive move, but he's not going to need it. Mega Man continues to pursue. And now here's the power deployment. Alright, Mega Man is very close this time. I don't think he's going to want to make that same mistake this time of uh, giving a bit too much space to Kenny. Here we go, he's through, and a little bit earlier this time. Kenny LaFlair once again on board. He's going to try a little bit of Cuphead, and I think that is going to be it because Mega Man blocks off the, second of the center of the track. And there's nothing that Kenny can do other than saying, all right, I've held you up long enough. Time for my pit stop. Now we go to Sakuri, who is being pursued still by PLL, finding themselves on the same strategy. And they're up to fourth and fifth positions behind Diego. Diego and Mega Man, of course, are going to need at least one more pit stop, and so might Nick the Quick. All right. Kenny LaFleur making his way out of the pits, and it looks like he's going to be right ahead of Bobino as he does so. So I was talking about that gap, uh, the gap between Cam and uh, Bobino, and Kenny has placed himself right in there. And I should note that Cam has also made his way through on RFX Rafa, although it looks like they're still having a real fight here. So let's take a moment. Cam's tires are going to be getting real old, real, uh, I feel pardon, I'm tired. So we might actually see Delta go back in Rafa's favor. So right now, the positions are Nick the Quick, who has a solid lead over Mega Man and Diego and Sakuri. And then the first real fight is Sakuri versus PLL. And then there's a large gap to Camborn, who is pursued by Rafa. Kenny O'Flair, having just pitted onto mediums that he will be taking to the end, is in 8th position. Sakuri! Oh, there we go! I should have kept looking. PLL finally makes that move on Sakuri. He's been saving it up for a while. And that is going to push him up to 4th position. A potential podium now for PLL. Uh, looking at these hards, seeing how long he can take them. Oh, and I think that's gap flag. having a little bit of a moment, but keeping it intact. And he carries on in 13th position. Sakuri now, right behind PLL. And we've still got this Rafa cam fight. As a matter of fact, as I was speaking of it, I just keep on looking away and missing the action. RFX Rafa has made his way back through on Camboard, and Cam is really going to have to be considering what he can do with these tires now. I imagine he's going for a two-stop after his early pit possibly putting on some softs right for the end, and if so, he's going to want to carry these mediums just a bit longer, because he's no longer looking at a really good medium-medium strategy here. Sakuri looks like he's losing a little bit of ground to PLL, uh, but he's holding him within DRS range. That's going to be critical. Moment for PLL, and that's going to be it for Sakuri. He makes his way through, but now we're going to see what PLL might be able to do. Oh, he's just going to slip in behind and continue his pursuit. These two again on the same strategy. Oh, that's a moment. Sakuri has a loss of traction, and PLL is able to take it through, but was there contact? Well, it looks like we'll be seeing in a moment, but this is just going to be good news for the guys behind. Uh, who are going to be going for a real marathon strategy here. Meanwhile, we've got a pit stop for Camborn, and that's going to promote Kenny LaFlair up to 7th position. He's continuing to chase down Rafa. Meanwhile, Sakuri still behind PLL. Oh, and that's another moment for Gap Flag. What's happened? Oh, it's a spin. This is such a tricky track for that. And I think that is going to have Nick the Quick coming up right behind him now. Nick might be able to snag some DRS here. 
which will certainly be a treat, uh, allowing him to extend his lead. He currently is five seconds ahead of Mega Man, who is looking very solid in second place. Oh dear. I think that's another moment for Gap like there, as he, you know, gets out of the way a little bit too well. You know, just a short ways behind, we've got Sakuri continuing to pursue PLL. In what is currently the closest battle on track, he's keeping him within uh, DRS range. But since those uh, those moments of combat a few laps ago, it has been PLL leading. Diego, of course, ahead of both of these two. And I don't know if Diego's going to be able to take those tires to the end. He just might be. It's either that or he's going to be pitting very soon. And by very soon, I can only be meaning this coming lap. If not, he's taking the mediums to the end. Diego through. And now we have Sakuri chasing very, very close behind PLL. Sakuri's been leading for a decent chunk of this race. He would love to pull it back, but it looks like things are starting to pull out of his control. Now, the key for Sakuri is going to be staying within a second, because as long as you can keep on getting your DRS, you can keep on getting a nice little toe, a nice little catch up. And here he is, 8 tenths down. They'll also be coming up on Gap Flag in a moment, who's going to be useful as a little source of DRS. So right now, I'd like to put my eyes on Diego and see what he is doing. Breaks just a bit wide at the apex. Is he going to be coming in this lap, putting on some softs and racing to the finish, or is he going to be taking these mediums? He's not going to do anything with these mediums, but ride them to the end. Old strategy there. Oh dear, I think that's Gab again. Yeah, he's having a rough race. It's uh, it's not a not a nice situation when things start to slip out of your control like that. PLL continues to be pursued by Sakuri. We've got six laps to go here, and Cam sets the fastest lap on the on some fresh softs. He's gone for it, and uh, let's see if Cam's going to be able... He's got a couple of cars up ahead, but it's going to be very, very hard to get more than one position out of this, uh, as there's a fairly big gap if he wishes to bridge his way up to Bubino, uh, who's on six lap old hards right now. Uh, however, for Brick, it's going to be a much more achievable goal for Camborn. Brick, of course, running on some 13 lap old hards, which he's going to be riding to the end. Once again, finding himself on one of these very long-running strategies that can be a little painfully slow at the end, even though the overall uh, pace across the race is quite solid. You do save a lot from not having to take a bit stop, but if it starts costing you uh, multiple seconds a lap, it can very rapidly switch to be more beneficial to take a multiple pit stop strategy. And here we go, Cam is about to demonstrate what you can do with fresh softs versus quite aged hard tires. side by side. And that's a position gained for Cam. Brick is going to have to accept that uh, well, there's not much he can do to fight him, not with that tire difference. His next concern is going to be Cuthbert, who is currently 7 seconds behind him. Meanwhile, Nick the Brick continues to maintain a 5 plus second gap. Oh, and that's an important spin, as PLL has just gone off the track out of what was a very solid position. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's lost too much there. If 
but that's suddenly going to give a huge amount of breathing room to Sakuri, and in fact, might be bringing Rafa and Kenny LaFleur into this mix. Recall that Kenny LaFleur, oh, interesting. Recall that Kenny did this uh, later saw uh, onto the mediums, and now he's going to be one of the paciest guys in the front here, uh, beyond Camborn himself, of course, who is uh, the one driver still in the race who is on the softs. Rafa leading Kenny. Kenny with the DRS. It's open. He goes to the outside. Is he going to bro break him, perhaps? He goes around, and he's going to take a real fast flowing line through here. But that's it. Kenny is able to uh, to take it from the inside, pass into the hairpin. And Kenny now up to P6. And now, this is a threat to PLL, who finds himself on hard tires against Kenny's newer mediums. Those mediums are not really going to be showing any real signs of age. So Kenny could well be bringing a... Uh... Oh dear, is that a moment for Rafa? It is! Fortunately, he has built up a little bit of a gap, so that's not going to cost Rafa a position yet. But I think it would be wise for us to take a look for a moment at uh, not our tires anymore, but at our penalties. Right now, only gap like with the penalties, so we've kept it quite clean here. So right now, the time trialer to keep an eye on is going to be Camborn, um, who is really just taking chunks out of Bobino's time right now. I was saying it would be a bit of a challenge for him to catch up, but he could take Bobino, and Rafa now is potentially at risk of being overhauled by Camborn. We'll ride on board with Camborn for a moment here as the drivers are all spread out by at least two seconds each. Nick the Quick is comfortably leading with a five second gap to Mega Man. Diego going real long, and that's going to give an advantage to secure it. PLL, meanwhile, picks up the time penalty, and that's just going to make things harder for his attempts to fend off a uh, resurgent Kenny LaFleur. We come here to Bobino, who's just a little bit behind Rafa, and Rafa, who's uh, fallen uh, several seconds off of the back of uh, Kenny at this point, as Kenny now has a sight set on PLL. PLL, on these 10 lap old hearts, has to be careful with that 3 second time penalty. Right now, he's only just holding on to 5th and is probably likely to lose it if Kenny can close the gap just a little bit more. But Kenny would like to do more than that. Kenny would probably be liking to make a charge on Sakuri late on here. He will have tire advantage to the end. We're not going to have enough laps for those mediums to really start to wear out. But Nick the Quick expertly managing this. Gap flag continuing to have a rough race there uh, as he takes a spin just in the uh, corner leading up to the long straight at the start of Sector 3. Ooh, that was a moment for PLL, and Kenny is going to be salivating at the opportunities. Meanwhile, Bobino is within two seconds of Rafa, not quite into DRS range yet. So the big movers and shakers right now, once again, are Kenny LaFleur and Camborn. And also, Narket in P12 has gone on to some fresh softs, which at 32 seconds off the back of Cuthbert. Unless something absolutely disastrous happens to one of the drivers in front of him, he's not going to make any positioning changes with that. So here we are, we're looking at two and a half laps remaining. And Kenny is charging into the uh, top half of the point scoring positions. But there are a couple of gaps. Making our way around, we've got Nick the Quick leading, followed by Mega Man. Nine seconds further back is Diego, pursued by Sakuri, who is going to start having a big pace advantage because those mediums are going to be falling off, and Sakuri would love to get a podium for his Ferrari team. 
PLL is falling off of the back of Sakuri after his uh, after his spin, which put him down into fifth. And now, in fact, his big worry is Kenny LaFleur, who might demote him yet further to sixth position. Rafa is 10 seconds clear of this fight, and he is right in front of Bobina, who is also finding himself, you know, get me away, Camborn is catching me. I do not like this, I would just like to get myself in front of a Rafa, thank you very much. He's getting close, but there's not going to be many more overtaking opportunities for him. Nick the Glick has gone on to the 27th lap, but there will be two more opportunities for Pavino to try and make a move on Rafa here. Meanwhile, we go to Sakuri, who is chasing down Diego. Diego on these 19 lap old mediums. It's going to be a tough slog for him. Uh, to keep them going just for this remaining one and a half laps. But Sakura's on 12 lap old hearts, and that's not exactly a nice thing to uh, be trying to go offensive on, because while these are tough tires, they're not exactly fast tires. However, he is closing up a little bit through Sector 2. We'll see if Diego is able to hold on for an Alpine podium. Meanwhile, Bobino is within half a second of RFX Rafa, and Rafa is going to be looking to be in big trouble. But first, let's have a look. Let's see what sort of launch Sakuri can get. He's within DRS range of Diego, but Diego has a lot more energy saved up, which he's going to be able to deploy. Sakuri pretty much draining his battery here to get close to maybe have an attack attempt in this coming lap. Diego continues to hold third place. Meanwhile, we go to Diego. Pardon me, to Bobino, right behind our FX Rafa. Goodness, sometimes the camera is a little bit uncooperative. <laughs> Bobino takes the position. Rafa is demoted to 8th position. But will Rafa be able to do anything in response? These are 19 lap old cards, so it's going to be tough. But it looks like Bobino has taken the position, and if he can keep it clean for just one more lap, and we are indeed on to the final lap, Nick the Quick leading by a comfortable gap. He could lose 16 seconds and still be on the podium here. Speaking of on the podium, we've got Sakuri and Diego who are going to be in a desperate fight here. Kenny LaFleur, meanwhile, is right on the back of PLL. Look at that. Look at the pace difference. Diego's tires are going to be feeling so terribly bad right now. Sakuri has been saving a lot, but so is Diego, and he is going to be spending all of that energy to defend this podium. You can expect that we're going to have some excitement here as we start. This is the final big, long, winding corner. What is this angle? This is the final big, long, winding corner before the straight. Sakuri deploying, but he's not super close to Diego. However, his DRS flap opens. We go to Diego, who is also deploying. Sakuri is about to hit his limit of deployment, and here we go. Diego, defending, goes a little bit wide. Is Sakuri going to try and make something happen here? I don't think there's a move for Sakuri. He's going to take a peek, but Nick the Quick has won it. Mega Man second, Diego takes P3, Sakuri 4. But now we have to go to Kenny LaFleur, who's right behind PLL. And he almost takes the position on track, but he didn't need to. He had it with the penalties, and Kenny LaFleur is able to make his way up to fifth position. The game's probably going to give him driver of the day, because it just loves giving driver of the day to people who decided to qualify right at the very bottom and then raced well. RFX Rafa comes home in 7th, followed by Bobino. Hang on, Rafa got his way back through on Bobino. And they're pursued by Camborn, and the final point scoring position is Brick, who is followed by his teammate, uh, who finds himself unfortunately a lap down. Cuthbert and Narkip, the final two racers, but neither of them are anywhere near each other. Cuthbert comes home just shy of the points in the 11th position, and Narkip is the last driver still racing on track, who finds himself in 12th position. Well, congratulations to the podium finisher. We've got Nick, we've got Mega Man, and we've got Diego, who was able to hold off Sakuri on a very long-running uh, medium strategy to take a podium, a fine third place. Well, I wasn't intending to guess this. There we go, there's the Kenny driver of the day. But, you know, uh... 
when, uh, when life gives you lemons or you run into a wall, you make lemonade or cast a race.